lay the fuck back. Take a deep inhale and then let that shit out. Today we're going to talk about worthiness. That thing that eludes so many people because we are a society that just doesn't feel valuable. Worthiness and value. Go hand in hand. Take a deep breath in and let that shit out. Take another deep breath in and let that shit out. We tend to place value on things that cost money. We've become a world of people who think that only sacrifice and money can place value or worthiness on a thing. We've become a society of people who treat other people more like things than like human beings. We've been taught to look at ourselves as worthless. We've been taught to think that we can only offer value to a situation by bringing something that other people need to it. But that's bullshit. Take a deep breath in and exhale and close your eyes and imagine your entire life in one single moment. Ask yourself how Worthy have you felt? Whether you're 18 or 88 motherfucking years old, congratulations, by the way. Ask yourself, how often have you felt worthy of things like joy, satisfaction, happiness, bliss, and love? Most people start to question their worthiness the moment they encounter something they feel is greater than themselves. Most people start to question their worthiness when the world around them seems too good to be true. The fact that we even have a saying that something can be too good to be true points to our innate feelings of worthlessness. We don't feel good enough. We don't feel valuable enough. We feel like when and if we make mistakes, our value and our worth diminish. But that's not fucking possible. Take a deep breath in and let that shit out. I'm here to teach you today about worthiness. We're going to talk about how exactly worthy you are. We walk around on this planet trying to quantify everything. We end up trying to quantify ourselves, but worthiness is infinite. Worthiness is always present, and worthiness cannot be fucked with. Take a deep breath in, and exhale and imagine your life and how worthy you felt throughout. Imagine all of the good things you've experienced and how well you were actually able to enjoy them because you felt like you deserved it. Deservedness, worthiness, and personal value go hand in hand. If you don't feel like the type of person who deserves happiness, guess what? You're not going to experience it that often. If you're the type of person who doesn't feel like you have immense personal value, guess what? You'll find yourself in experiences that prove you right. This is how powerful we are. If you feel worthless, you will experience life through a worthless feeling perspective. 
but we all know our perceptions don't mean shit is real. What's real and what I'm here to tell you about today is that you are worthy beyond measure, is that you have always been worthy beyond measure, and nothing you do ever changes that. No mistakes you made, no moments of you being a fucking asshole to someone else, it's fine, guess what? Your worthiness is still intact. Worthiness is the thing that no other experience or life perspective can alter. No matter what you do, no matter how you think, no matter who you are, your worthiness is infinite and you deserve all the happiness in the world. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And I want you to practice feeling worthy. There's this thing we do where we try to quantify exactly who we are in the world, how much we matter to other people, what we've accomplished, what we've gotten done in our lives or even in a day. But those things don't affect worth, deservedness, or value. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Another deep breath in and exhale. One of the trickiest things about worthiness is that you can convince yourself that you don't have it, but it is always right there. You can walk throughout your days and throughout your entire life feeling like you don't deserve happiness, joy, bliss, love, inspiration, success, accomplishment, friendship, laughter, all of these things. And that is always a lie. Worthiness is one of the trickiest emotions and perspectives to master. Because what we tell ourselves most often is how worthiness will present itself to us. Imagine two worlds. One is the world we've created for ourselves and the other is an infinitely vast spiritual realm of absolute truths. Most people become afraid of absolute truths, but I'm here to tell you they do exist. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now imagine these two worlds. The first is the world of things we tell ourselves. This is the world that presents itself over and over and over to us in our life experience because like I said, we are just that motherfucking powerful. That's just the way it goes. What we believe will present itself to us over and over and over again and then we will find ourselves telling the rest of the world, look, I was right. What we believe and the perspectives we have practiced will always reveal themselves to us as true because we are the creators of our own reality. Now don't start talking about other people who are suffering and asking me, oh, so they created their reality? The answer is yes, but I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you. Your beliefs contribute to your experience of life. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And imagine the second world. The second world is the world of absolutes, where everything is at its highest possible point of expansion, always. Where everything is expanding continually, forever where your worthiness cannot be fucked with, where all of your dreams and everything you've ever wanted in your life exists, where the energy of you is perfect, where the energy of you is sure of itself. 
Take another deep breath in and exhale and know this. If you can tune into the world of absolutes, this place where ideals actually exist, if you can tune into this place, you will start to bring it into your everyday life and you will feel worthy beyond question forever. You will feel sure beyond question forever. You will feel radiant beyond question forever. You will feel complete beyond question forever. You will tune into this place of love and bliss and honesty and strength and authenticity and value and deservedness and focus and worthiness. And it will always be available to you just as it is now. It's just a matter of practice. So many spiritual people try to jump from feeling fucking terrible about themselves to feeling like the worthiest, most blissed out person ever. And we all know that shit doesn't last. You've got to gradually tune in to the frequency of your own absolutes. They are always positive. They are always there for you. You are always worthy.